they're not focused on face-to-face -face communication. They're right. down like this all the time. So We're getting lazy at it, right? Yes, getting very lazy yeah. at it. If you could tell somebody how to read the room, it should be obvious if people are losing their audience. My personal hell, by the way, is a cocktail party. I mean, <laughs> I would rather get a root canal than go to a cocktail party. Seriously, because making small talk, I absolutely hate it for several reasons. Number one, I do not give a what they're talking about, and I know they don't give a what I'm thinking about or talking about. I'm boring. I don't know why anybody would care about the weather. I don't care if it's snowing or not, and that's terrible for me, and I know that makes me a terrible conversationalist. I just know it does, but some people will get in a conversation, and they will stand there, and there'll be six people in a circle, and one person will do 90% of the talking and not read that these other people are looking at their shoes, looking at the door, looking at their drinks, looking at their watch. People will actually be looking at their watch and people don't pick up on that. Why is that? Are they that narcissistic? Yeah, that's what exactly what it is. And there's also people that are just attention seekers, right? So they're types of personalities that just, they feed off from all of that excitement. All the attention's gotta be on me. Listen to me, because I am so self-important. I have so many important things to say, and then everybody should listen. And they're not noticing that when people are standing around in a circle, that their angles of their body are already faced towards <laughs> the exit sign, or they want to go out the door, right? Yeah. And their faces have become very flat, or they've got that very phony, artificial smile that they're trying to be cordial and shaking their head, yeah. yet they're, they're looking, about, looking around the room just trying to figure out a way to exit out. What do you think are the minimal encouragers that people should look for to tell whether somebody's really interested in what they're talking about? If somebody's really interested in what they're talking about is they're leaning forward and they have their head tilted and they're mm -hmm. bobbing their head two or three times like, yes, I hear you. Mm -hmm. And they're making really good direct eye contact. It's not a stare, but you find that when people are really interested, mm -hmm. they're leaning in. They're tilting their head. They're in this active listening position. Their body language, their, their, their body language is tilted forward. So they're moving in towards your proximity, into your space because they want more. If they're leaning back or to the side, they're not. If they're leaning to the side, they may be analyzing. If they're leaning back, they're completely disinterested. And you might have noticed the same thing when you're uh, in, in jury selection, right? People that are kind of leaning back and they're analyzing, they're just trying to figure out what's <clears throat> everything's going on. If they're leaning back, you've completely lost them. So facial expressions, we know that movements uh, and within their facial expression are universal compared to millions of other faces across the entire world. Now we're talking about body language, it's not multicultural, it's cultural. So that lean in could be someone that in right. the, within that culture that's considered being their norm. Uh, in certain pr parts of the country and uh, Asian countries, mm -hmm. you know, that r they're more close in proxemics. Others are further away. Uh, looking mm -hmm. at someone in the eye would offend a certain culture. Certain gestures right. also are very off-putting.